everyone i realized i haven't done a review for this book and so i think i briefly showed it a couple of times on my channel but there isn't like a separate book review thank you so much linda for sending me this book um, in your um, happy mail to me it was really really kind and very very um, generous so I just wanted to share it uh, today so this is a series of books by Helen Burge um, there's a number of other books which I'll just uh, quickly show you as well so there are, th there are four books, um, I believe, in the series, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's a third one somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it. I can't find it at the minute. But um, the Drawn From Life, the um, Just Add Watercolor, and then there is another one, which all have a review on my channel. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, the Botanicals. That was the latest one that Helen Burge came out with. So um, I'll put them all in the... I'll link them in the cards here, probably, um, <clears throat> for you to have a look if you haven't seen the reviews for these. These are all... have They have different theme to them, but they're all equally kind of be beautiful and interesting to look at. And what I like about these books, first of all, they're neat and small, so the... Uh, format is very helpful if you are on the go. I mean, these days hardly anyone is on the go ever, <laughs> so um, it's more like um, you know, on the go from your uh, living room to your kitchen and from kitchen to your garden if you have one. But um, other than that, there is no go at the moment. Anyway, um, so uh, but otherwise, it'd be great um, to take it with and. Um, yeah, so that's the format I like, and then I like the actually layout of the book. Um, the whole idea is to um, present to you as many artists as possible, and um, I like the variety. So there isn't a specific style to things, there's a big, big uh, diversity in styles, in mediums, etc. So Helen does a fantastic job of curating these interesting artists um, across the globe. So um, let's look in this book. So first of all, let's see when it was published. Um, so it was published in 2013. Um, and yeah, I couldn't find this um, at the time. I don't know if it's already available, but at that time when I was looking for it, it was not available on Amazon UK. And so that's why Linda has sent it to me and I'm so uh, thankful for that. Um, yes, yeah, so let's look into the um, kind of the, the content here. So Basically, we have a um, teardrop details, we have visual index, we have category index, and then sort of it starts with um, sketches. And I guess to say, um, in, like briefly explain what this book is about, to summarize, this book is about sketching tips and tricks drawn from art. So basically it's going to be a lot of drawing now so this is um, drawn from life and it's mostly kind of portraits and figure drawings in different mediums and then this is sort of anything you know um, anything and everything basically so um, so drawing fundamentals we've got elements line physical media digital media tone paper color techniques online image sharing, international paper size, international pencil grades. Um, so that's basically what you get here. There is a nice breakdown of uh, mediums, principal elements, so things like color, shading, line, composition, tone, texture, scale, layers, format and construction. So, sorry, if you are interested in one of those subjects you could quickly find uh, a number of um, artworks um, then like I said medium that would be probably something I would look through because I'm interested in certain mediums so we could have colored ink black ink watercolor oil pastels paint charcoal um, 
colored pencils and graphite pencils, crayons, fluorescent pen, gel pen, ballpoint pen, marker pen and felt tip pen fine liners. Oh, and then a lot more here. So gouache paper, graph paper, colored paper, sketchbook, found surface, um, wax resist, bleach, spirograph, brush, ruler, compass, um, knife, uh, exacto knife, image editing, software, digital, smartphone, ta tablet, collage, found paper, acrylic paint and paint transfer. So, you know, big variety of things, um, type of drawing, subject, etc. So the other thing I like about this book is the overview of the um, art that is in this book. So you can quickly find which page it is on. So that's really, really helpful because if you remember a specific uh, piece that you're interested in and you want to refer to it quickly, rather than flipping through, um, you can just find it like that. And also it gives you a great idea of the content of the art. So there you go. Um, so let's look again at the at the um, layout, but in, in actual fact. So what we have then is the description, so the background and space, and then you have the artist's name. Um, you've got kind of the summary, which was mentioned here somewhere. So that's called the uh, teardrop details. So basically you have a little bit of detailing here of what's going on. And yeah, and a little description from um, Helen, I guess, about the art. So, and then you have the art on the opposite page so that you can refer really easily in this sort of landscape format to the art. I really enjoy these books. Like I said, for the reason that they are filled with such a big variety of different mediums and different artists and styles and just everything is really, really interesting. So it is hard not to be inspired by something like this. This beautiful line work. So you can see mainly this is focusing on drawing. It does have some portraits as well, but it has a mixture of things. Just to give you a quick flip through. This is really beautiful. You can see that this looks like tree branches, but obviously this one has an interesting almost upside down element which you could create beautiful line work from this. This is really interesting. So there you go. Um, I hope you found it useful. This is quite helpful. I always wonder the exact sizes of the A4s and everything or A3s. So here we have the A6 going up to the A0 and I mean that must be huge because the biggest one I have ever worked with is the A3. So yeah, let's have a look. So the A1 is 594 uh, millimeters. So that would be 59, I guess, 59.4 centimeters by 84.1. That would be the A1. Not sure what the A0 is, but yeah, so all very useful. And then, so here is the international pencil grades breakdown and I didn't know that the US um, had a different scaling, so I always knew pencils to be in B or H, B, F, H or T, 2H. Alright, so that is it for today. 
And this is the back of the book as well, just to show you quickly. And um, see you soon.